come on, where? I know it's. No. Hey guys, this is DJ Fisher, Fish to Go Movie Reviews. And have you guys seen my bong? That's the picture. Well, at least I found my blunts. Uh, blints. And welcome to day number 45 of my 100 Days 100 Movies Challenge. And today is the start of No Shave November, which pretty much means I'm going to once again have a rug for a face. And I'll probably end up looking like some bum or some pot smoker. Oh, fiddly D! Today's movie sort of has to do with pot! Okay, that fiddly D thing I just did. I'm not high, but the film I saw has a little bit to do with that. And surprisingly, Walt Whitman. It also has to do with Edward Norton playing two identical roles. Normally you'd see something from Eddie Murphy, or now horrendously with Adam Sandler, playing different versions of themselves. But now you've got Ed Norton. You know I love keeping the faith. And that means we're going to be looking for some interesting happenings here. This is Tim Blake Nelson's 2009 film, Leaves of Grass. Maybe you ought to watch the trailer and see this thing. But I wouldn't suggest smoking while watching it. You might see things differently. Oh, oh, no, stop, come on, stop it, stop it, come on. Just, Michael, just roll it. What, no, no! How did you get this number? Is everything all right? My brother's been murdered. Hell, that's awful. How? He got shot with a crossbow. They're inexplicably popular where I come from. I suppose I have to go home. You sure do look like him. I think that's what they mean by identical. What the hell is going on? I guess I kind of got razor acted. What? You had him tell me you were dead? Well, all right, I'm sorry about that, but there weren't no other way for me to get you to come down here. Here's the thing. If I don't get up to Tulsa, I'm gonna be in some real trouble. I need you to be me, just like we used to back at home. We don't even look alike anymore. Has that occurred to you? What do you think? You've given yourself the stupidest haircut in human history. So Bolger says you're a famous banker. A real famous. And they pay you for that? Yeah, she's a poet. I tried to get her and Colleen a three-way one, but wouldn't neither of them go for it. I'm seeing double here. That is Ed Norton playing identical twin brothers Bill and Brady Kincaid. Bill is an established classics professor in New England who has done what he can to really leave behind his roots. Brady, on the other hand, sticks to them, keeping up appearances in Oklahoma, selling marijuana. But Brady is unable to keep his debt to Pug Rothman, played by none other than Richard Dreyfus, and he must find a way to get the money. So Bill gets a phony phone call, telling that Brady has been murdered. But now that Brady wants Bill to act like Brady while he tries to figure out how to deal with his debt, things get a little out of hand. Leaves of Grass is quite a head-scratcher. Not that it's confusing or that you'll get confused trying to figure out which Ed Norton is which. That's actually the best part of the movie. More about that in a minute. But the film acts in a similar fashion to a Coen Brothers dark comedy. There are moments in which you just don't know whether or not to take it seriously. Of course, as a comedy, there are inspired laughs here. But blended into its shocking violence and dead seriousness, you kind of get lost in its tonal shift. And for some viewers, that can be a bit tedious. But I think the film is worth it just for its intelligent plotting and Ed Norton's performances. Tim Blake Nelson directed, wrote, and acted in this thing. And he has a good sense of how he wants a story to be played out. Even if the first act does take its sweet time, it readily prepares us for the balancing act of Ed Norton. Speaking of which... Norton is playing two different characters, but at the same time he's playing his type of roles. Which already gives this oddball story a kind of perfect fit. And I can't really see it any other way. Sure, you may not know what to really take from it, but by the end Leaves of Grass makes you feel somewhat satisfied. And if not, hit up the pipe. So I'm giving it a B-. If you have had the chance to see Leaves of Grass, I'd like to know what you guys think about it. Love it? Hate it? And why? Leave one of those comments down below, and if you like any of my reviews or would just like to continue on my 100 Days 100 Movies Challenge, then you can subscribe up above. Whoop! I can't drive 55, but I will for this challenge. I've got 55 more movies to go, so keep those suggestions and recommendations coming. And don't forget one of these guys. And once again, I'm DJ Fish for Fish to Go Movie Reviews. Movie reviews on the go. That's the picture.